Yeah. Wait, she can't know I got another one. Perfect. Wait, don't leave yet. Don't leave yet. No. It's actually a really nice truck. Um, except it doesn't run. Oh, we don't know if it runs. They said it runs. Not sure if it runs. But I guess we'll find out. It might have go. a couple spiders. That way, and snakes, who knows? All right, let's check it out. All right. There's a spring. Mm. Ooh, jumper cables. In there? Yeah. Well, nine, We're going to need them anyways, because I think that's probably dead. Sounds like a rat's been living in you. Ooh, there's a water bottle, too. <laughs> what kind of engine is it? 350? It doesn't, seem, it doesn't look like one I've seen before, especially 350 that 350 V8. Oh, is it right. V8? Yeah. Let's see. Ooh, it's got air conditioning. Oh, it's disconnected. Should we take out all the junk? No, just leave it for now and we'll try and figure out the rest of it. Let's get the battery cables hooked up. Yeah, Came with right. an aftermarket overflow bottle. Put that back. This is ground. They're both red, so you know that you can catch it on fire pretty easily. That is dusty. It's been sitting a minute. It's in decent shape. Hold that. Holding? <laughs> oh. Delco Remy? All things considered, it doesn't look too bad. These things are terrible, though. It's probably going to spray fuel out of this when you start it up. All right. Well, dang it. And the battery isn't connected, though, right? So it's yeah. just kind of sitting there. I mean, we can use jumper cables. Okay. Let's look inside see if we can find Oh, found one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, found the other. All right, we're in business. That's probably why this uh, wrench is sitting on the front here. It's not a very good connection, but it's a connection. I think this battery might be dead, dead. So it touched across here and it didn't spark. All right. Wait, we can always try? Yep. Make sure it's in park. I'm turning the key. It's not doing anything. All right. We'll hook it up and jump start it. All right. So. Battery's completely dead. We're gonna have to jump start it. We got some jumper cables, some free ones. Came down yeah. there, got some in the back over there. So we'll uh, see if we can get it charged up some and get it jumped. Got a water bottle too. That's for later. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it's good for you. Those are like ancient. Yeah. We got some extra ones if those don't work or if they like explode. Things are like coming apart. They're just bent. Alright. Here's a jump. Other ones? Yeah. Here's a jump. Try and fix them later. Whoa. Yeah. Oh, is stuff moving now? Yep. Lights are on. I mean, let's hope that's the only problem. Yeah. What is this? It's a light. Spotlight. I don't break it. Oh, no. I'm trying to antique. Yeah. It doesn't move from the outside. It moves from the inside. Oh, does it? <laughs> I didn't know that there was electrical wiring in that. All right, so we're charging. We're going to let it charge for a little bit. I'm going to try and chase some of this vacuum stuff so we're not messing with that while we're trying to start it. Here's what the spark plugs look like. Oh, there's a funnel. Oh, that oil is black. <laughs> oh, man, there's a lot of gas in that. Oh, let's see. God, there's so much back on these smog trucks worst case scenario we can get some cash. oh the line to whatever this is broke yeah that's probably where it ran or crossed over to that canister that vacuum canister uh, so we might need to go get some vacuum lines but the rest of it looks like it's all right oops that's the spider i just grabbed it you know we did say there's gonna be a couple of those well, oh here. it's dead well i grabbed it i unalived it when i grabbed it so we'll definitely need some vacuum plugs for this over here it should start up if it's mod pump that's gonna disappear real quick and this wrench that came with the truck has come in pretty handy so far. We'll keep that right there for later. Nope, need the wrench again. <laughs> oh, it's full of brake fluid. That means as of right now, there's no pop brake lines, so that's good. Brakes are good. Brakes are good. 
No, that mean they're good to have. That doesn't mean they actually work. This power steering line looks like it leaks a little bit. So it's got some in the pump. We do have oil, so we're going to be all right turning it over. All right. So what we need to see is if it's pulling up gas into this filter. So when I start turn, turning it over, you can see if it'll turn over. Don't hold the key just like that. Keep going. Nothing? Ooh, nail clippers. So the starter is not engaging. It says we have voltage. And since it says we have 210 degrees in engine temperature, I'm going to say that's wrong. And since it says we have 60 pounds of oil pressure and the truck's not running, I'm going to say that's wrong. All right, I'm going to try and jump it across the solenoids here. This uh, never start might be too far gone. I just don't think the battery is really holding any charge. It's holding some charge. So let's go get a different battery. All right, so we went and picked up a new battery. We're going to throw that in. Got some vacuum lines, some spark plugs. Picked up some fuel too. And... Uh, should be good to go now. I also bought another battery cable because this negative battery cable is all screwed up on the end. It doesn't screw in very well. Very, very sad one. Oh, the battery cable is pretty sad too. Oh, no, no. Oh, it's in the bushes. All right. Sad battery out. New battery. All right. We got to take this off. Ah, oh, look, brand new parts on an old truck. Yep, it's beautiful. Oh, Save that. Saving? Mm-hmm. Are you going to use it on that? No, we may use it on some other project. Having an extra wire around is always good. Let's see if this doesn't start a fire. Why would it start a fire? <laughs> well, because we didn't have enough juice to really start a fire before. Now we got extra juice. I think we'll be all right. Whew. It's got juice. You feel it? Yeah, I zacked myself through the arm. All right. All right, and then. She'll turn over. All right. Well, I definitely heard it. Crank it a little while longer. All right. All right, so we get fuel coming up into the fuel filter. Go again. All right. All right. Go ahead. Give it another go. Okay. And she died. <laughs> All right. So she's got spark. But there's nothing keeping her going. So what's the problem with that? So the fuel just needs to get in there and probably fill up the bowl. We just haven't turned it over enough. And plus there's all these vacuum leaks. So we know it'll fire. We know that it has fuel coming up to it. Whether the fuel, it looks old as or yeah it's old so we'll start plugging some of these vacuum lines then we'll crank her over and really get her going i didn't see a whole lot of smoke he said that it smokes like crazy when he started up he also said it was spitting fuel out everywhere and i don't see any of that either so i don't i hope we're good i mean it fired right up and it sounded like it ran good i didn't hear any knocking i didn't hear any valve train noise or anything yeah, it sounded pretty good, too. All right. So replacing some of these vacuum trucks. You know what's good about these trucks? What? That you can sit in here and work on them. Not really going to mess with the spark plugs just yet because it fired right up. So is this what you mean by uh, sitting in here and working on it? Yep. Better than leaning over the fender. Oh, look at that. We can save that, too, for emergencies. Oh, oh my God. You smell the gasoline? Yeah, it kind of... smells like kerosene. It's been in there a while. So it's got a flow direction. Oh. Makes it real easy. Oh, there's a lot of rat turds up here. Remind me not to eat anything directly after this without washing my hands. You're in charge of that. Why am I remind in charge me. of that? Yes, you need to remind me because I will forget and I will eat something <laughs> and... with all of these rat turds. All right, what so that's think, good. Uh... Vacuum advance is good. I have no idea what the hell this went to there and this is going to go into that vacuum canister over there all right and there's a plug on that one and you plug one this one here all right that's all plugged up vacuum canisters plugged up Sorry. all right let's crank it over see if she'll fire oh, up oh my god <laughs> 
Okay, again. Keep going. Just hold it until it just continues? Yeah, keep going. <laughs> oh, one more time. Oh, I think it's got a vacuum leak somewhere. I can hear it. It runs great. It is really not even smoking. It blew so much stuff in my eyes, I can hardly see right now. <laughs> see how nasty the fuel is? Kind of a yellowish color. It's turned into kerosene, yeah. but it's running. But it runs. Let's go ahead and fire it up again. One more time. Yep, right. go ahead. Oh. Go ahead. Okay. A little too much. Too much, guys? Yep. All right, go ahead. I don't know that it's getting fuel. I think we're just running off with the carb cleaner. Watch out. That was going to say, because that's the only time it starts. It's pulling it up in the filter. Maybe this is clogged. Let's see if it's squirting fuel down in it when I hit the accelerator pump. Yeah, it's squirting fuel in. So what's the prob? <laughs> What did you do? Oh, I don't know. I decided for a little while. Did you like manually squirt the fuel into it? Well, I did, but it should have done that anyways. Let's see. Oh, oh, I just got gassed. <laughs> what? <laughs> Where? It came out that side too, and like a gust oh, of wind that's... blew it all into my face. The smoke, yeah. All right. Prognosis, doctor? Um, bleak. <laughs> Curious how much fuel is actually in there. Do you think fuel is actually the problem, or is it just something that's not letting it start correctly? Well, ooh, she's got two tanks. Dose? Dose tanks. Now one has a key. Wait, does see? Yeah, does it actually need both of them filled? Uh, well, you can sometimes switch between the two, but I don't see a switch in here anywhere. You didn't get a good look at the interior on that first video. This is a better look here. She's pretty dirty, but everything is in excellent condition this seat is fantastic this thing will clean up nice it is great it's gonna be a good good old truck it's gonna be a good truck it's still smoking it'll be a real good I'm just gonna leave that. all right and i don't know where that freaking fuel switch is oh well Maybe they just equalize over. We'll fill it up. Well, this is a problem. Why are you doing that? On to the hottest thing there is. That's not nice. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take our uh, water bottle from earlier. Water bottle? We're going to put some gas in it. You want to grab the gas can? Of course. <laughs> what? Okay, well, I'm going to stand a little bit further back for this. Hey, it fixed it. And uh, hmm. so while well, we figured out the problem, something's blocking the gas from getting to the hole. I think she's out of gas. Just out of it? I mean, there's still something here, though. I mean, it looks like somebody, like a baby. But it's not, snapped. it's not pumping it out. So we just add the gas to the gas tank, and it should work. Yeah, but the question is, is which gas tank is it pulling from right now? All right, go ahead. All right, it's not getting any fuel from the tank. All right, so it fires up and runs now. Um, I'm going to show you in a little bit. It smokes really bad. 
Uh, we're gonna make sure we got plenty of oil in it before we take off um, and probably grab a couple quarts on the way home. But uh, it's pulling fuel now. I'm not sure which tank it was empty on, but we'll throw five gallons in each to see how it does. And there's no switch to switch it over. I can't find it anywhere. I'm not a GM guy, so I don't know where that's at. It's hidden somewhere in a glove box or something. I don't know. But uh, let's throw some coolant in it and throw some more gas in it and get on maybe okay. the road. Well, actually, we got to see if the transmission even shifts. All right, it's got plenty of oil. Plenty of oil, yep. but it's now that it's not mixed a... up, it looks a little better, but it still smells a lot like gasoline. All right, so now we need to throw the rest of that gas. And I believe it was this tank that it was pulling from. This one sounds like it's full. So we'll throw the rest of it into that one. Well, it was running. Mm, why aren't we picking up fuel again? It means it was probably that tank that needed it. 50% chance and got it wrong. I know it because it only started when we put fuel in that one. Alright, it's running. Figured out which tank is pulling fuel, so we'll go get some more to throw in there. Ah. Doing a little smoking. A little bit. Maybe it'll clear it up. We're gonna let it warm up for a little bit. Let's see if we got ATF. It's enough for a cold, and it looks pretty clean. Doesn't smell very burnt or anything. See if it moves forward or backward. All right. <laughs> all right. We should probably move all this stuff. I'm just gonna go forward a little bit. See if it's got brakes. This is another big thing. Oh. And it died. It did. I have to bump the idle up a little bit. Oh, is that just how much? All oh, the gas cap, hold on. It's starting to move. Yeah. Oh, the can, the can, the can. <laughs> it moves. It moves. Alright, so last step, we go get gas, and that's it. Pretty much. We'll get some gas, we'll get some ATF. Some power steering for it because that thing is whining like crazy and some extra oil storage boxes nice all right what about all this stuff throw it on <laughs> time to drive it home Go. Maiden voyage. First time out on the road since 2014. I don't mind telling you, this steering wheel is disgusting. Oh. Can't wait for all this dust to fly out in my eyes. Oh my god, the steering wheel. I can't even. It is foul. Brakes. Brakes work. That rattling you hear behind you there is the uh, sail window is sailing. We got oil pressure. Temperature gauge. No working. Just have to watch for spray and stuff. Doesn't seem to be smoking too bad. Maybe it was that garbage fuel that was in there. The steering wheels need to be uh, pulled off, dumped in some acid, and thrown away. back and it made it power steering pump is not happy about what we just did otherwise everything else works great the transmission 
first through third works great. There's a pretty crazy vibration. Not sure where that's coming from, but we'll figure it out. Uh, interior is awesome. I didn't get hit with as much crap in the eyes as I thought it was. I'm excited to see what we can do with this truck. Stick around for the next episode where we clean it up. Get this uh, paint to look a little bit better. There's a lot of dry crap all over the top of it. But I think this is going to be a great truck. Thanks for the help today. You're welcome.